My wife and I have slowly been building up our record collection. It's by no means a huge library like some people have, but it's definitely curated to our tastes. I love digging through bargain bins at thrift stores or record shops and finding that occasional gem. The only problem with buying records used is that sometimes you get a dud. I was super excited to listen to this record. I, I found it in the bargain bin at the record store. It's only $4. I got home. I cleared out the next hour or so so I could vibe out to Diana Ross and the Supremes. And I threw it on the record player and nothing. It's just static and pops. The whole record was ruined. It wasn't a huge loss. The record was only $4. But still, it was the principle of the thing. I was ready to just chill out and listen to a record, and I wasn't able to. I don't want the record to go to waste. So today, I think I'm going to turn this piece of art into a piece of art. For these records, I want to be able to hang them up in one of those fancy record holder frames. I think they're usually reserved for gold records or something like that, but seeing that I don't make music, I probably won't ever own a gold record. For my base layer, I'm using Montana Gold spray paints, and for all the other details and whatnots, I'll be using Golden Fluid Brand Acrylics and Posca Paint pens. A full list of these materials is available in the description below. So the spray paint base is done. I did orange on this guy with a little yellow gradient coming from the center, and I did the inverse on the other record. I left the backs of them blank because I plan on putting these in a record holder, like inside of a frame, so I don't really need to paint the back of it since no one will ever see it. But now I'm gonna snap a picture of these and use the iPad to draw out exactly what I wanna put on the records. I really like this workflow where I take a picture of the thing I'm painting first, then use my iPad to digitally mock up what I'm gonna paint. It lets me visualize what the finished product is going to look like and lets me play with the color combinations early on. The planning and sketching phase is really the trickiest part, so once I have that figured out, the rest is just painting while I listen to music or podcasts. A few years ago, I created this little rat named Roscoe. He's kind of a combination of a lot of different influences with a little bit of me peppered in. He's really fun to draw, and I think I draw him on just about everything. first record is done, but before I jump into the next one, I think I want to paint a couple small things on the cover of this record. I feel like it's just asking for some doodles.
character on this second record is Roscoe's trusty sidekick, Lucky Cat. If you scroll back far enough on my Instagram page, you can probably find some early doodles of him somewhere. I love drawing cartoons and characters that are already part of pop culture, but there's something so satisfying about using the things that influence you to create something new. These records, along with the sleeve, are for sale over on my website, so if you're interested, the link is in the description. And if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.